There are two main types of uh, clinical research. One is clinical studies where we uh, observe people over a long period of time where we discover better ways of uh, uh, diagnosing an illness, such as through uh, maybe imaging, or it can be complicated x-rays, or biomarkers. Those are markers in the blood or the cerebrospinal fluid that will indicate to us uh, which type of uh, memory disease you might be uh, uh, developing. We have a community-based uh, study of individuals who are age 75 and older, and we are following these individuals prospectively um, with yearly cognitive assessments and blood draws that we are uh, banking the, the blood draws and uh, following a cohort of about 500 individuals here in Rochester. Um, and some of these individuals, because they are at risk for Alzheimer's disease based on their age, are converting to show signs of early uh, signs of Alzheimer's disease. And so we're starting to look at ways that we can detect those people that are going to have those troubles by looking at the blood samples that we've stored. A great example would be the uh, Alzheimer's disease neuroimaging study, or ADNI. This study looks at a large cohort of normals, people with early memory problems, and people with uh, established Alzheimer's disease. And we do very detailed MRI scans, uh, PET scans, um, beta amyloid likened PET scans, which is uh, something that we'll see come to the uh, clinical setting in the next few years, where we can image the beta amyloid burden uh, that is present in the brain and is the hallmark of Alzheimer's disease, and may show itself actually years before you have any clinical symptoms. This is right now changing the way we think about and how we diagnose uh, memory disease, especially Alzheimer's disease. We'd love to be able to understand the mechanisms by which this disease works and start heading it off before the disease even starts. On the other hand, we do clinical trials, which is intervention research. And uh, intervention research means that we try to discover better treatments. Uh, so we go above and beyond what's available in the community today. And some of the studies that we're looking at block the uh, production of uh, beta amyloid or increase the uh, clearance of beta amyloid from the brain. Some of these are monoclonal antibodies that are given by subcutaneous injections or intravenous infusions. Other are oral medications. And these treatments, as opposed to the ones that are available right now, target the underpinning of the disease, the uh, process that causes the disease, doesn't just deal with the consequences of the disease.